Glory to Jesus Christ. We are privileged uh, this afternoon to have with us His Holiness Basilius Marthoma Matthews III, the um, Catholicos of the East and the Supreme Head of the Malankar Orthodox Syrian Church in India. His Holiness has as his, one of his great priorities in life, his education. And um, after his school, high school education, he joined Karela University, received his Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry, and then he joined the Orthodox Seminary, Kotiayam, and got his general sacred theology degree. And then he went on to study at the Theological Academy in, in St. Petersburg, um, Leningrad, excuse me, and then he uh, joined the um, Oriental Institute in Rome and got his master's and, and PhD there. He was ordained a deacon in 1976 and a priest in 1978, a bishop in 1991, and metropolitan in 1993. And he served as the Holy Episcopal Synod's secretary for a number of years. He gave his education back to the church as a well-known teacher and faculty member of the seminary in Kotayem. He is an author of uh, devotional and contemplative books. His doctorate is in Christology, and uh, he certainly is an expert in his field. He's a philanthropist who works relentlessly for the uplifting of the poor, something that the prophets of the Old Testament would applaud and he has started a number of ventures to help give employment opportunities to women from the economically backward classes in India, something that our Lord himself would be proud to acknowledge. I had the privilege of having lunch with him yesterday and sitting next to him and getting a chance to, to talk to him. I find him to be a deeply spiritual man but well-versed in the world. He knows the challenges that he faces as the Catholicos of India and as, the, uh, as someone in the ecumenical circles of the world in which he lives. He is a champion of unity between the Orthodox of the East and the Oriental Orthodox as well. And he is a... Um, a great believer in educating the youth, keeping them in the church, and making them the future of Christianity in the world. My uh, visits to India have always been highlighted by my veneration of the relics of St. Thomas, who was a Joe 9 student I, I love dearly. And uh, his Holiness is a successor of the Holy Apostle Thomas, who made the greatest profession of faith, the only one in the Gospels to call Jesus my Lord and my God. It is my privilege, my joy, and my honor to welcome to this podium His Holiness Basilius Marthoma Matthews III, the Catholicos of the East, and the Supreme Head of the Malankar Church, Orthodox Syrian Church in India. be to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one true and God. Amen. Your Eminence Archbishop <coughs> Mikhail, Your Grace Metropolitan Nikolaos, Our beloved Brother Sin, Our Lord, Very Reverend Father John Parker, Dean of this prestigious seminary, Dear faculty members, beloved seminarians, 
and beloved children in our Lord Jesus Christ. It gives me great joy to come and visit this holy place where the saints have worked and where we can follow their example. It is for this reason this place reminds me of our seminary back in Kerala, India. When we arrived, we experienced this place as a place of prayer, a place of refuge, a place of holiness, calmness and serenity. You all are truly blessed to study about our precious faith in such a calm atmosphere. And you all are blessed to teach in such a sacred institution. As a professor of theology at our Orthodox Theological Seminary in Kottayam, for four decades, I am quite aware of the challenges when it comes to empowering and forming students to the sacred ministry of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The sacred task comes with its own challenges. I am reminded of the words of St. Paul in his epistle to the Romans. Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, no height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in our Lord Jesus Christ. The driving force that tempers us to face the challenges so we can fulfill the ministry of our Lord in this world is this very love. It is this love that tempered the apostles. It is this love that tempered the martyrs. It is this love that unites all Christians to the apostolic calling which we have interested. We must bring Christ's love to the brokenness of the people through our own lives by offering forgiveness and love to the afflicted, caring and sharing the poor, the widow, the addicted, the mentally disturbed, the handicapped, to those who we think do not even deserve it. This unconditional love of God must be our own personal conviction and confession, not simply by our tongue, but by our own lives. I pray that this seminary grows in the love of our Lord and our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ. May it continue to be a shining beacon of the love of God, just as you have shown to our church, the La Malagara Orthodox Syrian Church. The Orthodox Church in America, especially this institution, St. Econ's Orthodox Theology Seminary has contributed to the molding 
of faithful servants in the ministry of our Lord. We are grateful to his beatitude, Metropolitan Tikhon, the primate of the Orthodox Church in America, and his eminence Archbishop Mikhail, the rector of this seminary, who are not merely friends of our church, but as our own brothers in Christ for supporting our church and encouraging us in pastorally and theologically forming our young men to be befitting servants of our Lord. We also thank very Reverend Father John Parker, the Dean of this prestigious seminary, for your love and encouragement to our students, which you and the faculty here led by example. We are also happy to know the, about the proximity of St. Deacon's seminary and monastery in relation to our holy Transfiguration Retreat Center in Dalton, Pennsylvania. We prayerfully follow and look forward to opportunities to collaborate on meaningful programs to befit God's people. We offer our sincere gratitude for all that you have done for our church and what you will continue to do as you continue to lead the way in molding sound pastors for the Holy Church. May God bless this institution, our leaders, and all of you. Thank you very much. God bless us all. and your grace on behalf of our Rector Archbishop Michael, His Eminence Archbishop Michael, the faculty and administration and our students, we warmly welcome you to St. Tikhon's and we, we are grateful for your, your inspired words and the reminder of the love of our Lord which we are compelled to give as freely as we have received it. In anticipation of your visit, we thought at great length on what kind of a gift we could offer to a man who likely has everything uh, and yet gives it all away as well because you are such a man of generosity as his eminence has reminded us. We thought it fitting for a man of prayer such as your holiness that we would offer you um, a rare treasure. I, I would like to present to you, your holiness, a, a first edition copy from 1825 of the Psalter in Syriac we know that the Psalms are the hymns of the church. We know that you are a man of deep prayer and we sincerely and humbly offer you this token of our love and affection on the occasion of your first visit here, anticipating also that you will return and join us as many times as you're able when you return to the United States. So please accept from us this gift of the Psalter in Syriac from 1825. Your Eminence. You know, the church were in the business of uh, using visible and invisible signs. So this was a visible sign of our, our uh, affection and love for you. We have an invisible sign, something that you, I can't tangibly present to you, but you'll see its effects in the years to come. Knowing you to be a man of education and a man for education, 
a man who loves your priests and loves your future priests, the seminarians uh, from your church. Uh, we have decided to create in your honor a scholarship for the students of um, both the Northeastern and Southwestern dioceses here in America and for the church in India. And so we, I, we proudly announce uh, His Holiness Basilius Marthoma Matthews III Scholarship in honor of the Catholicos and successor to St. Thomas. And uh, uh, the students will be the recipients of that scholarship this year. And, uh, and one year you'll come and make the presentations in a formal way when you have more time. So uh, know that um, you will be their inspiration and uh, you'll also have a watchful eye on how well they live up to uh, continuing your legacy uh, for your church uh, in this country and in the world. So uh, now you've got to work hard, harder. <laughs> um, please accept this with our love and our, uh, our pledge to continue to serve uh, your church and your diocese. Um, yeah, as, as you know, His, uh, His Holiness is on a tight schedule, so, um, you know, we need to uh, we need to uh, move on with the scheduling. But uh, those of you who want his, his blessing, please get it, and then we'll, we'll come in and uh, have a recession. Okay. Oh. 